Right. Thank you very much, Heike. Thank you, everyone, for participating. It's 11 a.m. for me um, here. Um, so let's get started because we have limited time. Um, my name is Nargis Khan, and I'm the Fractional Research Manager at Immerse. I'm also an, a freelance editor and an EAP teacher. Uh, this session is about teacher-facilitated immersive language learning with the Immerse app. Okay, um, very briefly, the outline, uh, I'll talk briefly about my experience with virtual reality, what it is, um, then how VR works, how learning in VR works, and how teaching in VR works, and maybe we will have time for questions. Uh, my experience <clears throat> was um, mainly in Second Life, a uh, very intensive uh, time in Second Life between 2008 and 2012. I taught general and business English. I conducted teacher training sessions to the, uh, different groups. And I also uh, co-created and co-moderated two six-week EVO sessions. They were six weeks long back then. I also participated in a one-year postgraduate certificate course for teaching with virtual uh, and in uh, virtual worlds. And uh, I've written a lot of blog posts about these experiences and published an article and all of this and more uh, you can find on my website uh, if you go to virtual reality. Now, before I move on, I would like to ask the audience, what, when you hear virtual reality, what comes to your mind? You can type a whole definition if you want to, or just uh, individual words. What do you think of when you hear virtual reality? Is it okay if I look at chat? Everyone knows it's being recorded. Um, so let's see whether we have any opinions. Yes, special glasses and special equipment. Mm -hmm. Interaction. Anything else? It's the real life, but nicer. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> OK, so you keep typing. Um, I'll show you my definition, which is um, about the different types. And I said three and a half types, I'll explain. Um, most people, when they hear, or most teachers, when they hear teaching with virtual reality, they think about 360 degree videos. It's videos um, recorded of real places, often interesting places, landmarks, museums, and so on. And then teachers use these in their classroom. You can watch them on a screen but they don't feel very immersive, but you can also use these um, VR goggles and students put them on and have this experience um, being, being in that place. There is also desktop VR, uh, which uh, we can say Second Life is, is one. That means you, you use it via your computer um, and it's on your screen. Some call it also 2D VR. Some say it's not VR at all, but I would, I would argue it is. Um, the half one is uh, web VR. And this is very interesting because you don't have to download anything onto your computer, any app or onto your headset, but uh, you join via a link. So the teacher does just hand, uh, gives the link to their students and they can join. An example of this is Mozilla Hubs. And within this hour, you will have a presentation on it. So I'm not going to tell you more about it except that students can join with a headset, but also via their computer or a tablet. Now, what I'm going to talk about in this session is fully immersive VR. And again, a, a question for you, do you have any experience with using VR for language learning and teaching? Let's see. Real life, yeah, not really. Might have the experience yourself learning with VR. Maybe you you tried. No. Okay. So then, 
hopefully this will give you some insight. Now, how does VR work or why does it work in fact uh, so well for language learning? Uh, it's because of mainly these three affordances. There are many more affordances, but these three immersion, interaction and presence. Now, uh, when you wear a VR headset, you um, and, and you go into an environment, you feel like you're, you're there, you're immersed. And as you know, for language learning, immersion is very important. That's why we travel to a, a, a country uh, of the target language, because we want to be in that world um, and um, learn the language better by being immersed. You also interact with others, and this was mentioned earlier, uh, you can interact with the world itself, with the environment, with the objects in that environment, uh, but also with other people, your teacher, your, your, uh, your peers, and uh, you feel present. So because you're immersed in this world and you can interact with it, it gives you a feeling of presence, which means a feeling of being really there and together with the other people which is very powerful for language learning and any type of learning. Now, the Immerse app is actually two different apps. You have the teacher desktop app uh, and the student VR headset. So the teacher is actually at their computer um, and facilitates the, uh, the, the class um, from their computer, but the students are in their headsets. And you have synchronous lessons, so live lessons as I said, with 360 degree videos, for example, and some other immersive apps, you have pre-recorded sessions. There are, for example, apps where you are again on your own as a student and you interact with chatbots uh, or with recorded dialogues. So somebody in the recorded video says something and you, you reply. And um, if your answer is correct uh, or your re reply, then uh, you, it, it tells you, and if it's wrong, it tells you. But this is live lessons, like in, in your physical classroom, but you can go to places, which makes it so interesting. Um, as we said, there is interaction. You can use your own curriculum and um, adapt the, the platform, the scenes, and the lesson plans to your own course needs and to your students' needs. Um, what I would like to do is, is um, because when you, when you see videos of VR, it looks like just like desktop VR, 2D VR, but it's not. And it's also very important to understand that the student doesn't just sit like we are sitting now in Zoom, but they actually move in the real world to interact in the virtual world. Again, this is very powerful. And rather than explain to you, I'm just... just going to show you um, the video or a, a very short video which I had opened. Oops. I'm not going to share this well I can just as well share the sound. Um, so I moved already a bit forward, so...
Okay, so you can see how, um, how that works. And now a brief look at the teachers app. You, um, this is the screen you, you see when you open the teachers app, you have the planning and teaching tab at the right um, and the audio controls. And at the top, you have the experience selector, which uh, you use to select the different uh, scenes like the airport, the restaurant, whatever uh, scene you need. Uh, depending on the language you're teaching. And on the left, you have the facilitation toolbar, basically for classroom management with whiteboards that you can pop up um, to, you can rally your students around you or around uh, a screen you want them to look at and so on. Um, yeah, this is the planning hub where you plan your lessons. You can copy existing lessons and then just use them as they are or you can um, adapt them, um, change them, or you can create lessons from scratch. And it's not just a, a normal lesson plan. You also can choose which scene elements you want and you can adapt the scene elements as well. Um, for, yeah, for example, if I don't know whether we'll have time to, I might have time to actually show it to you for a couple of minutes. Um, and then you have the, um, you can create breakout rooms very easily by dragging and dropping names into these different boxes. So they can, they are ISO. They are, the great thing is they are not in different breakout rooms like in Zoom where you can't moderate very well, but you are together with them still in the same room. You can see what all the students are doing and you can move from one group to another by uh, moving your uh, uh, your name into their box so you can hear what they're saying, how they're interacting. Um, there is more information about all of this on the Immerse website and there is also the YouTube channel with uh, demo lessons recorded, how to plan lessons and tutorials. There are also guides and you can contact us. But um, I think I have a couple of minutes and I'd like to stop sharing. I'd like to actually very briefly show you the app. And if you have questions, you can, you can type them now while I'm loading this. Okay, so um, here I am. The, this is my avatar. I can actually also not see myself. Yeah. If, you, if I want this VR experience feeling of wearing the headset. Um, at the top, I can choose where I want to go. So let's say we can go to this backyard barbecue uh, place. And I'm sure as experienced teachers, you can all imagine what you could teach here. And you can interact with the environment. As we said, you can, you can grab things like here is an arrow. I can grab this and I can throw it. It doesn't work as well. Um, you, the interactions are much better in VR, but the teacher doesn't need to do a lot, but you can still grab things and place things. You can also drop them. Um, There's a question here in the text chat from Halima. What's the difference between physical and virtual immersion hubs? Between physical and virtual? Between physical and virtual immersion hubs. Um, I'm not quite sure what, what the question means. Um, in the Immerse, you have the planning hub where you plan your, your lessons. I'll show you that. This is the planning hub. And here you can load, um, for example, existing lesson plans. And yes, and then on this side, you can, you can adapt these to your own needs and save them if you want. And you see now I've loaded a lesson plan and I can see here um, that it is just a simple game with questions and students can hit um, the balloons and answer those questions or you can have multiple choice questions here. Um, you can walk around, but you can also use these um, teleportation 
rings. You can here, for example, you can ask students to categorize, to practice colors or other kinds of categorizations, like put the green vegetables in this basket and the red vegetables in the other basket um, and so on. And um, yeah, facilitation tools, you've got these placeables. You can drag out whiteboards, scoreboards. You can label everything in a scene. Um, you can use your own video also if you want to show your, re your video. You can change the characters uh, accord depending on what role you're playing, for example. You've got a timer and this is the student manager. Um, yeah, we don't really have much more time, but as you see, you can, you've, got, you've got lots of different scenes here and all scenes have ready-made lesson plans, which are also aligned to the CFR. But the, the best thing is that you can write your own lessons from scratch as well, if you have a specific curriculum you want to use. Okay, so maybe I will just stop this and you can explore, as I said, there are many videos that show um, how the app works and there are demo lessons also. So if, you are, if there are other questions and um, yeah, so Halima, if you want to maybe reformulate your question, um, I'm not quite sure what you meant. But There's another uh, great question is by Galina. Mm -hmm. And how expensive is it for teachers and students? Uh, you can, it's, it's charge. The, the teacher doesn't pay anything for planning. You only pay while you're there with your students uh, for, for a lesson and it's uh, per minute and you can see the pricing on the website. Um, do the students need to buy special equipment? Is the question. Yes, the, the students need the headsets. So some schools actually invest in them when we had physical uh, teaching. Students, uh, schools have uh, sets of these headsets and they use it with a class and then another class uses it at different times. But uh, some uh, also, uh, um, because many students bought these, uh, millions of these VR sets have been bought um, because people use these for gaming, uh, but also more and more for virtual business meetings and conferences. So many people already have them. So. There are schools that say, okay, if you have a VR headset and you want to teach, uh, you want to learn, you, uh, you can join us. And we have actually at Immerse every day many emails of students who have a headset and who want to uh, learn. So we pass them on to the schools that work with us. Any other? Quite a few questions coming in. Is there a chance you could stay on Nurgis and answer these questions in yeah. writing? Yes, I'll stay and I'll answer them in chat. That'd be great. And what headset is it that you've just shown us? The, the headset? Yeah. Uh, it's the o Oculus Quest 2. Quest. Okay. Uh, Immerse at the moment works with Quest 1 and Quest 2. It, it also worked with Go, but that uh, Facebook is stopping that. So uh, Quest 1 and 2 at the moment. Thank you so much. Perhaps that also answered uh, Vance's question. But could you stay on? Thank you ever so much. It looks amazing, really. Thank you for having me and I'm looking forward to the other sessions. So I'm going to stay and answer the questions in the chat as well. Thank you, Heike. Thanks to everyone for attending.